Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Khadija from Mindful Mandela Art and I share tutorials that help you create your own mandala dot paintings. In today's video, we are creating this super cute, simple, and easy to recreate calming star mandala. I am painting on a flat canvas board that is star shaped using the colors pink, turquoise, purple, and white. Now for the different shades of each color, I have separate bottles of each, but if you don't, you can simply create the different shades by adding white to them. This will help you have and create that lighter shade that you can use to add top dots and depth to your painting. Also, I am uploading new videos every week, so please smash that bell icon and hit subscribe as this keeps you notified and helps the channel grow to reach more lovely artists like you. The tools that I used in this painting are the same as always, my wooden dowels, a sponge to paint the board black, and of course the paint colors. As for how I created the guidelines, I did that using a pencil and a compass. It's really super easy and simple to do. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film that step in the process for this video, but you can watch my other tutorials to see exactly how I do it. I'll link one right above. So much like my last piece, this one was also an experimenting trial and error, let's see how it turns out kind of painting. Usually I plan out what colors I want to use in what order so I have a vision of what I'll be creating. That's probably my OCD and perfectionist traits and characteristics, but for this painting, my creative intuition was in full control. I encourage you to also just have fun with the process. You may surprise yourself as I did and be pleased with how it turns out. If not, remember every experience is a learning opportunity and one step closer to getting to the level you want to be at. During one of my lives on TikTok just this past week, somebody asked me what my number one advice would be for anybody starting out as a beginner who just wants to learn dot painting from scratch. And it's definitely to just remember that everybody starts somewhere. You have to trust yourself, learn to let go of trying to be perfect because that is one thing you and anyone else trying to achieve will definitely fail at because it's completely impossible. And to just try to focus on falling in love with the process. If you've been watching my tutorials, you know I say this time and time and again. And you're probably like, oh my god, this is like the hundredth million time I'm hearing this. But I can never say it enough. And I continue to do so because I really mean it and it's really Im important to keep hearing it especially when you're trying to learn something new for the first time. As a beginner I completely know that you know you can get fixated or focused on your fear of messing up or creating something that you're not happy with but instead of focusing on that while you're painting notice how calm you feel how centered your thoughts become on the moment, how the tension of life and everything else that causes you stress slowly leaves your body and your mind. Everything that I just mentioned is how my experience is when I sit down to dot paint and why I keep doing it. I love to create for the meditative and the therapeutic benefits, especially because where I live, we just got back into a lockdown and we have this strict stay at home order even though the sun is shining summer is coming i want to be outside but i can't so there's this sadness and where there's sadness there is dot painting as the cure if you're starting out just as a beginner or if you're practicing dot painting for a while let me know in the comments below what else does it do for you and why are you interested in learning and what keeps you going i'd love to hear and learn if what i'm saying relates with other artists as well and just a quick update in terms of my TikTok, I haven't been very active. I know it's been, I think, two weeks maybe since I've stopped posting regularly, but I have been sharing a lot of my content on Instagram and that has blown up. Several of my videos have gone viral and I'm really so happy and grateful to see the interaction, to be able to connect with you guys and I also realized that this surge in followers was from artists in India and I'm super happy about that because I realized they don't have TikTok in India so a lot of my artist community is um, from the US or Canada, the one on TikTok, but on Instagram I have a lot from India so I'm really happy to have another platform that is Instagram to connect with others halfway across the world. And this is all because I started sharing my art online 
and making that decision to help others learn how to dot paint themselves. I've become connected to this huge art community that I had no idea existed. Uh, to be specific, dot Mandela art community. I used to paint for hours, days, nights with no one to really share my passion or be as passionate about it as I am. Aside from my older sister who is also into visual arts but she's halfway across the world in Australia. So, you know, once I started putting it on the internet, it's just been an overwhelming experience to connect with all of you. I love and truly appreciate every single one of you. Honestly, you guys keep me going and you inspire me so much to continue creating, sharing, and connecting with my creativity. You are amazing. Thank you. So this video is more of a time lapse for you to enjoy watching or to follow along and create with me. Please note that the video is sped up times too, so if you are recreating, pause as you go along and take your time with creating your painting. Now I definitely recommend that you check out my other videos, my other tutorials, because that's where I go in detail about my process, why I do what I do, and I give out some really great dotting tips. For now, I've added some awesome tunes for you to vibe to and enjoy while you paint and follow along.
Hey guys, I'm back. I truly hope you're enjoying this tutorial and how your painting is coming along. The video is coming to an end soon, so if you're recreating, please do share a photo with me of your creation by sending me a DM on Instagram so I can hype you up. I love when you guys do that. It makes me so happy. So this is how the final product turned out. I know I missed recording a couple of steps in this tutorial. Sorry guys, I was running low on storage space, but you can pause and see the details that I've added or add your own. It's completely up to you. I absolutely love how it turned out and I'm so glad that I decided to be playful with the colors and the design. It's not what I usually do, but I've noticed every time that I don't follow a plan and I just go with the flow and I'm willing to be messy and make mistakes, I always end up surprising myself with a beautiful new design that I can use for my other pieces. This is the same thing that happened with the blue I see Elsa heart snowflake that I created in my last tutorial. It pushed me out of my comfort zone, which is where all my learning happens. So if you're done your painting, I suggest sealing it to protect it from dust and fading. I use Mod Podge to seal my artwork and you can watch and learn exactly how I do that by clicking on the link above that will take you to my latest tutorial in which I show you how. But that is all for this tutorial. For more dotting tips, art inspiration, and to join the awesome art community that we're building online, connect with me on TikTok, send me a DM on Instagram. You can also support my art and make my heart glow by adding one of my pieces into your lovely home, into your space. Check out my Etsy shop. I've linked everything in the description below for us to connect easily. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It'll keep you notified of when I post new videos. You can always check out my other detailed beginning to end process tutorials to learn more on dot painting and my brand Mindful Mandela Art. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Stay blessed, stay present, and keep doing more of what makes you happy.